Hey there, it's Dave and Miss Marie, and you're watching Quarantine Science Lab. Um, but uh, we haven't done an episode in a long time because um, we're in the process of relocating uh, to the uh, Denver area, Colorado, and we don't have any of our lab equipment um, or our chemicals to do an episode. So what I did was I signed us up for um, a Mel Science chemistry subscription. And uh, if you're not familiar, what it is is that they, it's a company that sends you um, each month uh, a chemistry experiment in a small month, in a small uh, package with all the chemicals that you would need and the supplies that you might not have at home that you would need to conduct an experiment. So this month, you know, the first experiment we got is this tin hedgehog. It's a tin experiment and it's uh, growing tin crystals on a piece of zinc and some electrolysis of tin crystals. And this is what their typical monthly package looks like. But the first month you sign up, you get this equipment package and it's pretty good stuff. I was impressed. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's not stuff that a professional chemist would have in their lab, but some of it is. Uh, like, for example, they send you an actual glass Erlenmeyer flask um, and, uh, you know, a nylon funnel that's totally, you know, you wouldn't need anything more in your home chemistry experiments. You get several different uh, tube stoppers to put in there. Some of them have holes for uh, tubing or pipettes, a tiny little funnel to fill flasks. You get safety goggles. Thanks, Marie. Let's put those on since we're doing a chemistry experiment. There's two. There's two. Yeah, let's put those on. Oh, wait. Uh, are they the same size? Are they? They look. Uh, one's for kids and one's for grown-ups. I didn't notice that last night. That's excellent, right? So the other cool thing you get is this, we'll use this even when we're not doing chemistry. It's a little iPhone holder. Um, and it's not cheap stuff that someone 3D printed at home. It's actually pretty good. Um, and then you get this little stove that you may use in the future for some of the chemistry experiments. And you put a candle in there or a little sterno can and um, where's the other piece that goes in there? Oh, and then you, you put this piece. I'm not sure how it goes in there, but it, I know it does. Uh, I'm not really sure how it works. I haven't used it yet, but something like this. See? And so now you have a little, little burner uh, stove, uh, and it folds up. So I was really, um, I was skeptical at first when I first started seeing their ads on Facebook and YouTube, but now I, I'm kind of impressed. You get a whole, you know, a whole supply of plastic cups and beakers. Um, and I don't even know what this is. It's not magnetic. I'm not really sure what it is, but uh, apparently we're going to, oh, <gasps> you know what this is? This is a close-up lens. It's a macro lens for your iPhone. Isn't that cool? So we can take close-up pictures with the iPhone. That is totally cool. I did not even see that. So are you ready to get started? Let's get started. Okay. So let's okay. put this away for now. Wait. Yeah. Can I get the pieces? Thank yeah, you. sure. You're going to do the experiment. I'm just going to supervise. Because all the experiments, these are serious experiments that are meant to be done with adult supervision. That means that you do the experiment and I watch to make sure that young kids your age don't put chemicals in their mouths or um, burn themselves, do things like that, or make mistakes like that, okay? So, we're, this kit has two experiments in it. Uh, one is this tin hedgehog experiment, and the other one is this tin dendrite experiment that involves uh, using uh, small voltages to create tin crystals. So we're going to do the tin hedgehog right now because it's a relatively simple experiment. 
So, Marie, do you want to read the instructions? <laughs> you know what? I need my, excuse me, sweetie. I need my, um, I need my reader glasses for this. Will these go over my reader glasses? Yes, they do. Sort of. How's that? <laughs> Two glasses. Uh-huh. Does that look silly? <laughs> yeah? Okay. It's all right to look silly sometimes. Okay, so here's our, here's our instructions. Uh, let's just get started. So it says, first prepare the tin chloride um, solution. You see it says SNCl2. That's the formula for tin chloride. This, the chemical symbol on the periodic table for tin is SN. You know what that stands for? What? Stannous. So when you hear words like stannous chloride or stannous fluoride, that means tin chloride or tin fluoride, okay? You know what uh, tin fluoride is commonly used for? What? You, you have it every night in your toothpaste. Stannous fluoride. Yeah, isn't that cool? It helps prevent cavities. The fluoride does. Fluoride is also a very dangerous chemical. Fluorine. All right, so here we go. I think this packet is the one we should be using now. Yeah, I think so. And they send you supplies uh, to do um, several, like two or three repetitions of the same experiments. So um, in case you make a mistake, or, you know, in case you accidentally waste some of the chemicals or just want to repeat it, um, they send you enough supplies to do that. So here we go. We're going to also need these little tips for these drippers. Okay, I'm going to help you open things and then you're going to do the pouring. Hold on, sweetie. All right, so. This is a powder. All right, let's see what we got to do here. Pour one bottle of sodium sulfate into, okay, but I think we have to put water in here because there's no liquid in here. This is, um, oh, that's the, uh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, great. I just, I was, wasn't thinking straight. So, okay. I'm going to move this over here by you. It'll still be totally visible on camera. So, let's, you want me to open this for you or do you want to open it? You yeah. try opening. Try opening that. There you go, it was a little too difficult for a kid your age. All right, there we go. And then you're gonna pour um, tin chloride solution. So pour one bottle, this whole bottle, oh, we need to open this. Okay, that's what the paper clip is for. There's a paper clip in here. Here it is. Okay, great. They even send you a, because they know you have to use a paper clip to puncture the bottle tops. So they send you a paper clip. Isn't that cool? I like that about them. Okay, I'll puncture this for you and you'll squeeze it in there, okay? Now these are not chemicals that you want to get in your mouth. So you promised me you're not going to put your hands in your mouth after this, okay? You should have put your hand in the pony. Now let's see this. All right, so I want you to squeeze this whole bottle into the other bottle, okay? okay? Let's see if we can squeeze it out into this bottle, okay? That's good, that's good. Is it coming out? There it goes. Good job. Do it again. More. More. Is that it? All done? Yep, good job. You did great. All done. Let's put the cap back on here. 
Let's pull it up. Oh, they didn't have, all right, that's garbage anyway. Now we need to shake it up. Just, I guess it doesn't matter since we missed. You can shake that, keep shaking it, I'll be right back. All right, so you got that all shaken up, right? So what's the next step? Okay. All right, now. Yes, you can stop. Sorry. You didn't have to keep doing that so much. Where's the, um, there we go. Here's the, uh, okay. So, now take one of these zinc pellets and put it in here. One pellet, do it over the tray in case you drop them. Just shake it a little bit and shake one out. There you go, drop them. Okay, okay, put one back. And then let's put the cap back on it. Okay, drop it in there, very good. And now be careful that we don't knock that over when it has liquid in it, okay? Okay. And now you're gonna fill this halfway up means up to about here okay and then you're gonna drop the zinc in there so go ahead and open that up and pour fill this up halfway okay is it more fun when you're doing the experiment and I'm just watching yeah. okay, go ahead there you go okay, don't knock it over do you need help that's it use two hands Squeeze the bottle a little bit. Hold on a second, let me see something. There we go, not too bad. Hmm, it's kind of cloudy, that's a little strange. Okay, now I'm gonna start filming with the macro lens. Why is it so cloudy? That's kind of... That's disappointing. All right, hang on a second now. Don't worry. There's a different way to do it also. How? Oh. Look, this came in. Okay, that's great. All right, go ahead and drop the pellet in there. We can barely see it. That's a little strange. Can you see the pellet? Can we have a camera? Yeah. We want? Yeah. Hmm. Tell you what, let's try and see if we can warm it up a little bit. Maybe more of it will dissolve and it will become clear. What do you think? While I'm doing this, I would like you to go rinse your hand with water, okay? Can you reach this, the counter over there? I'll turn it on. You rinse your hand and dry it off, okay? All right. Now go dry them off with the paper towel now, okay?
There's some bubbling, just a little bit of bubbles. Very tiny. It's just some bubbles that formed on there. We can barely see it because the the liquid's cloudy. If it wasn't so cloudy, we could see it. supposed to use the dropper. I can do the dropper thing it's not working. Should we do that? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go do a duo. <coughs> oh God bless you. <laughs> Cheapers creepers. Okay, we're gonna do a do-over. We're gonna do this again. And we're going to do it more carefully next time. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, look at that. Huh? Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty it is. Wow. So we, um, it did work, but what happened was the solution was too cloudy to see it. And I don't know if you can see the zinc has grown what appears like fur, uh, sparkly fur on it from I the. Saw uh, it from the water. It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can we save it? We can save it, but first we're going to reuse this piece. Oh no! First we're going to reuse that piece. And uh, we're going to do this over again, okay? Okay. It's, this is now garbage. No, what's in here? Just a little bit of the water I can squeeze out with this. Oh, right. That's still, a, okay, that's fine. Let's throw that in there. And, um... That's not a garbage. <laughs> I know. Here we go. Okay, so. Oh no, we we can't really use this. We can save it, but um, now what we need to do is keep a red cap here. The red caps have more space to put the the nozzle in. I should have saved that nozzle there. Hold on. I think I got a red cap. The red yes, cap. The yes. red cap. No yeah. white cap. Okay, you are correct. You're correct. I'm going to rescue that nozzle from the sink. I'm glad it went into the sink completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. We could have lost it. Okay, this is throwaway. This one still good. So, um. So, are we just going to do a sink thing? Sort of, yes. Go ahead and open the uh, sodium sulfate, I guess is what it is. Open both of these, put the white cap here and then here with this one, so we know which ones are which. There you go. Oh, it already has a nozzle in it. How'd that happen? Okay. Okay. So, pour that whole bottle into here by squirts, okay? Oh, no, sorry. We forgot to open the bottle. Hmm. All right, now try it. Pour the whole bottle in there and don't spill it.
Beautiful. Okay, great. Let's cap it. Let's save this nozzle here. We might use that in the future for something. I don't know. Okay, now put the red one on here. Let's put a well, let's put it right back in here. Okay, now put the red one on and shake it up. Shake it like before? Mm-hmm. All right, that should be enough. Put the tin pellet in there. It doesn't want to sit on its bottom. There we go. Now go ahead and let's see if I can make it come out clear instead of getting on that. See, it doesn't want to be clear. That's our problem. get it to come out clear. That's the only defect here is that um, it's cloudy. The solution here is a little too cloudy to actually see the, the pellet growing crystals. So you just have to wait for it to happen and then uh, take it out. Um, and I don't know how to avoid the cloudiness. But this time we're just going to let it sit there and it's going to be really pretty when we take it out. Maybe for one minute? Mm, probably for 10 or 20 minutes, okay? We'll pause the video, okay? All right. Now what do we do when it's cool? What? What do we do when it's happening? What do we do we'll go look at more videos what and I'll try to post this to the YouTube privately and we'll do some editing later. Why okay? don't we just do rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. You know that? Okay. So let's leave this here and come back to it and hope that the dogs don't get into it. They won't. I'm just kidding. All right. Come on. Let's go upload this video.